All right, so focus. There are tools out there that we can use to help us focus because, as I said earlier, which you didn't hear from the pre-recording of this, is that I have voices in my head and I know that lots of you out there do. And those voices in my head try to distract me and I choose not to be distracted. So in order to do that, I can use tools. One of the tools that we're talking about today is X mind, X as in X, uh, the letter X mind. And you can use the free version, which Rosemary and Kirsten and I all have the free version, but we're all at different places on the X mind journey. So I know how to do what I need to do to keep me focused. Rosemary uses it for a different reason. And Kirsten is a beginner. So we are having a discussion about X-Mind and the tools that we can use to stay focused. So I use X-Mind to be focused. And I can jump over to my X-Mind map, or you could show yours, uh, Rosemary. And um, we can uh, have a discussion about what, what X-Mind what XMind does, the uses for it, and how you can stay focused, or how do you use it, Rosemary? How would you define how well, you well, use it? Well, um, why don't you just say a little bit more about what you focus on? Because I don't, I don't use it. I obviously don't use it the same way that you use it. So okay, but you've just said that you use it for focus, which it, in in essence, I suppose. Um, I use it for organizing, um, but um, it is it's it to an extent. It's just another form of 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 focusing. So it's just okay. like focusing in a different on a different type of thing, I suppose. So okay. So uh, when I say that I use it for focus, what that means is that I can put I can. Uh, so X mind is like a mind map. If any of you have used a mind map before, you have one general thought that you want to think about. So for me, I put in the center the name of my LLC, the name of my business. And then off, the offshoots of that are kind of like just my brain dump. It's just me thinking about current to, current projects I have, projects that I want to work on in the future, um, and I can put those there in a, in a safe, so in a safe place rather than, because I am, if you could, if you, if you looked in my, my, um, international headquarters, because here we are in international headquarters, um, we, I have post-it notes everywhere and that's great if you want to use post-it notes on a wall. I've seen people do that before, but I'm a traveler. I like plane tickets. I'm addicted to plane mm -hmm. tickets. And that doesn't bode well for me in my lifestyle. So I needed tools to be able to take with me um, that I can open up anywhere and use and get focused. So uh, um, XMind is a place for me to take a look at or work on one piece of my business. And when I open up that piece, then I can drill it down into the segments that I need to pay attention to. And I can put them in the order of the things uh, of how they need to be uh, worked on to get me closer and closer. And I say this all the time, this is about tiny steps. It's about small steps. This isn't about big monumental stuff. And for me, I think that that's what tools like XMind do. It's, or or a mind map. You can do a mind map on a piece of paper, actually. there's There, there are some great tools out there for that. But um, the way, the, the way that, it helps me to stay on task and not like so that I don't go down that path of not enoughness. Uh, I'm stupid. I'm a fraud. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an imposter. Um, why would people hire me? I don't have to go down that route because I've got this map that's showing me 
the cycle of my business. So it helps. I don't know if you find that that's true for you, uh, Rosemary, but I find it it stops the 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 chatter that I have going on in my head about you know how could wh- why you um, I can I can just look at this and go right. It's like a visual vision board of my yeah. business. It's like a written out vision board of my of my business. So I'm going to step, I'm going to step into just like I talk about in in vision boards, I'm going to step into a piece of that and take that piece only and work on that. And all the other stuff is still there. There's still valid ideas. There's still things that I am going to accomplish. But right now I need to stay focused on this one piece. How's that? That's terrific. Sure. Uh, it's actually Ooh. very similar to the way that I use it, but actually I haven't used it. Um, I haven't put anything down about running a business. I, I'm I'm at an earlier stage than you really, because I haven't really set off on any kind of proper business function um, uh, as yet. Um, or at least not, not in a, not in a, but not a, along the lines that you've done. I've done some writing. I've learned, I've done, uh, you know, I've learned how to write and I've done some writing and I've earned some money from writing. So to that extent, I've got a, a business. A business, actually, yeah. What I wanted to do was to try and develop um, uh, my website and um, some some books, um, which um, I... Uh, which I could then use as it were as products for a business. Um, uh, actually not being that focused so much on the business side, but more on the <clears throat> other people must be going through the same kinds of problems that I have been facing. And so, you know, this is a way of recording something which might be helpful to something, somebody else. That's, that was, that was, um, that was sort of my, if you like, business aim. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, so actually, I haven't, I haven't used it for business at all. What I've used it for is that when I've been, um, I've used it for researching. So um, I will, um, uh, you know, I mentioned to you earlier that I'm doing a lot of research on energy, right? So um, because because of my own lack of energy. <laughs> And, um, and so um, I have got a lot of things um, where I have, as you said, you you it, it, I would I call it organizing it, but but focus is another word really. But the way that I've organized it is that, um, as you say, I take a topic and I to, to begin with with the topic, I will um, uh, just do a brain dump on it. And on the on the on the X mind, and uh, then I can look at it and see which. Uh, when you see it as a picture with things all around, I find what's missing, and um, then I go and look at it. And then um, you know how when you get emails each day because you signed up to somebody or other yeah, who right. gives you information. Yeah. Well, when I find a snippet in that, I can take that snippet and add it to the mind map. And that means that I capture it. Um, uh, and what, what, a mind, may, mind map is one way of doing it. I tend to use the mind map at the an early early stage. When I'm getting more detailed, I actually have it in a document. Um, but I do find it really, really useful to use the mind map as, as sort of a, a way of pointing the pointing the way forward. Uh-huh. Um, but for so an example of a mind map that I've got, I'm looking at one. Um, I think I sent you one that I had done some a couple of years ago about coffee and mm-hmm. what coffee does for you. Yes. I'm looking at another one which is about antioxidants because antioxidants can uh, can uh, you know if you if you get your diet right and things like that. And what are the constituent parts of a diet which you need, you might need to look at? So, okay, it's sort of drilling down quite a long way. I'm not just saying I'll eat a Mediterranean diet, but I'm saying, but I might want to say, 
meat and eat in Mediterranean diet because it delivers lots of antioxidants to you, which will help your energy levels, something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, so, uh, so um, I've got um, a breakdown of, you, you want know, to share the, it? Yeah, sure. If you want. That's so it's pretty but, too. Yours are much prettier than mine. <laughs> uh, well, I like that. <laughs> well, this this is I actually did this one quite a time ago, and they had this one with these loops on it. But there are different. There are lots of different templates that you can use. Okay. Um, okay. But most most of them, you know, you can. And um, what I like about it is, for example, if I look at this now, I mean, if you can see, the first kind of thing I did was. Well, in fact, it wasn't the first thing because I found this out later. I put down things that I knew to begin with. And then okay. I started looking at the different types of antioxidant. And so you've got the first line ones, the second ones, and the tertiary ones, and um, what they do. And then ones that are created within your body over here. And these are the ones that are obtained from food or supplements. And these are plant-based oxidant so you know when you look at this you can see if you're I was writing it about antioxidants and in a diet you can I could go back to this list and say oh I haven't mm -hmm. I haven't thought about zinc yet something yeah, like that so I could you yeah. know it's a reminder mm -hmm. uh, and it's a bit of a map of what what of the things that that you you can cover I mean it this the one on this one on antioxidants i haven't done very much on it's it's just uh, uh, to remind myself but what i was planning to do what i am have been doing is just occasionally i will add um so i was going to add for example i started over here um what each okay. of the things does yeah um so protect your eyes against sunlight you can understand why I'm interested in that. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, the, the other ones, I have, well, omega-3, I've said you get them from fatty fish and linseeds. Um, but, you know, I need to go through and do all the others. But what I tend to do with something like that, unless I'm actually concentrating on it for the purpose of actually writing something rather than just increasing my general knowledge, background knowledge, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I will just put it in the X mind so that when I then want to use the X mind as the basis for like the outline of a of a an, an article or something in a book um, which I might be writing, then um, you know I've got it and preserved it. Right. So most of mine are, are like this mm -hmm. um, rather than focusing on the business. But actually, you can use it for any topic you want. I mean, you can use it. You can use it for your own relationships or you could use it for, um, you know, organizing your daily routine. Um, mm -hmm. There are lots of different ways you can use it. And what I like about it, which I think you, you've picked up as well, is that it gives you a picture. And um, I quite like having the different colors. Um, yeah. If you go into the new from the template, you you can choose a different template so you can have it on one side or I don't know if you've seen this um the template I, yeah I have yeah. not used templates I've always started from a blank sheet yeah right but you presumably you've got some you choose a method of putting a box in the middle and yes but I do yeah. find the box in the middle the best way forward I mean I've tried using some of these box ones but i i found it easier to visualize something when it's when it's um like a whole picture um with things coming off and also because i use it after i've done my dump i change them round so that uh -huh. it's in a more structured format for me to be able to to look because you don't when you're first doing something you don't necessarily think in 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 an organized form you just think oh that's a good idea and you pop that mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. you've got another idea and you put it over there and then you realize actually oh those two belong together and that one needs to go over that you know and it just helps organize the knowledge in your mind mm -hmm. and it does give you a visual picture which I think helps. Kirsten how were how were you planning on using XMind? 
I actually I started um on X mine. Um, so I thought it um I watched a very brief tutorial just to get jump started and it, like a three minute tutorial. And actually, when you open um X mine, there is a little three minute tutorial once you sign up. I think so. I watched that and then I got going. And uh, so I did. Maybe I opened up mine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Rosemary, stop your share. Yeah. I thought it's quite intuitive go. in a way. Uh, see what we can share here. Why, why, how do you think that this will help you? Just a moment. Okay. I think pretty much from, uh, from what you have, um, hang on a minute. From what you have said, actually, I'm also like you, I'm a traveler. I'm, uh, I have a vision board that's on paper that's massive. And um, I I tend to scribble things down in different journals, so this is as far as I as far as I got. So this is basically okay. just sort of a very first, uh, as you also said, it's a brain dump. Um, and uh, so coming back to the vision board, this is pretty much. Um, okay, I can't see caption. it. Did you share it? Oh, did, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, can, can I say that one one of the reasons why I like the X Mind and so on is because, um, I some years ago I had a I had a I had a fell over and I actually did something to the dis discs in my neck, and I've slightly damaged the nerve down my right arm, and so I actually find it difficult to write for any length of time, so I have absolutely nothing written down. Oh, um, on paper. Wow. <laughs> everything everything I have is because I can't write very easily. And yeah. the other thing is that I like it on the on the computer because I, you know, I trained as a lawyer. I'm quite organized. And so I have I'm used to filing things in a certain ways. Okay. And as a result, I, I've um, I, I find it easy to access something which I did like, say, three years ago. I yeah. Was, I can find it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's um, great. That's great. Or yeah. Yeah. It's, um, because it's interesting how you talk about your mind, like being organized because uh, yeah, um, that's, that's not me. Well, it's it should a, show it, in my mind. It, it's, it's, you, it's a training though, isn't it? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Well wow. You've got, you, well you, wow. You've gotten. Uh, yeah. You've done really, really well. Far. Holy cow, Kirsten. So this is, this is after watching the tutorial and then there's a couple of things up here. It's actually not much. Um, so that's in the free version. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so I just went to format here, up here. Um, and then it gives you certain styles and then you can just kind of choose a template from here and that's how, how I got going oh, and, super. I just, and I just kept on adding boxes so um pretty much following a little bit what you shared last time uh Barry on your um yes. so for me just important to see what aspects do I have to bike and soul so um it's we have the touring here so that's the motorcycling um and it's kind of today I thought yeah this is about group traveling but also about solo riding because that's mm -hmm. also what I do and um, I'm planning a world tour and when I turn 60 so I thought no. hmm, why, don't, why don't I just plunk it down and uh, obviously yeah. it has a little dollar sign here that you can add oh this is where some money is going to come from oh so um, this was a brain dump of basically one hour and, oh wow uh, super so the touring, um, the nonprofit, um, online courses, some stuff. I just, I just tucked it down. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. Um, but so the main point is going to be the touring. It's going to be my writing business. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also, uh, Rosemary, for you, you said you don't have a business, but actually you do have a business about writing. And I agree. If you put your writing, if you put your writing in the middle, and then you branch off into you, you know, you can work as an editor or you can yeah. run classes. You write your book. Um, how's this all going to come together? And I think this is from, I mean, is this is really sort of condensing it on a piece of paper or in a program that you can carry with you. You can look at it all the time. You can add it. And it's just sort of, it never stops, you know, I can go further down. I can yes. sort of, as you said, you drill it down a little further. So just ideas for an ebook, um, my blogs, my own publication. Um, 
articles maybe from magazines i haven't worked on this yet because I just, I, so i just this was just an idea you know mm -hmm. it's great so, mm -hmm. so and the minute i have something um i can just plunk it plunk it down and for example here you see on the right side here pay hip yes um this is what we talked about last time that platform for um selling um, e uh, digital products or something else or yeah. even just for to collect emails so i've linked it up so i find the link super i haven't done that yet okay great and uh, up here just to remind myself for the shopping what i'm gonna what am i actually going to sell clothes so t-shirt and hoodie so just to remind myself this is the t-shirt i'm actually wearing today yes I want it. thank you i want it it's the same T-shirt, um, hoodies, and then accessories, and this is just going to go on and on and on. Super. And uh, and as you um, also where you have these the little um, the little box here with those lines, so it's basically if you open that up, it's it's, it's a note, it's a note box. So for me, newsletter, bike and soul, once a month, two announcements, latest blog post, uplifting women stories. That's what yeah. I'm going to share. So. Um, so Rosemary, also nice. for you, because you, you said the other day, I think you said you sit on 120 or something drafts and projects and, you know. Yeah. Um, so, and another thing that um, probably is also really helpful if you, there's a relationship button up here. I haven't worked that out yet, but if you sort of start working, how does one relate to another, you know? How is mm -hmm. maybe Tanzania here? How is that? adding on to my shopping uh what mm -hmm. i'm gonna or the other way around you know yes um so i can start working out relationships and um try make this um go full circle no oh, that's great that's great there are some things that you have done kirsten that i have not incorporated into mine so thank you for yeah. uh thank you for that yeah um so the in in doing this as a business or even for you uh rosemary you if you think you don't have a business but in reality you it's kind of like we're all moving in that in that direction we all mm -hmm. want to mon monetize something yeah. to some degree yeah. and it doesn't yeah. really matter yeah. if it's you know what uh, what that monetization is however um oh, another I think, yes yeah, go ahead sorry. Ahead, Another thing that I really like is up here. I think when you click the pitch button, is that the pitch button up here? Yeah, I see. Oh, it's basically that you can actually turn it into a slideshow and it gives you kind of a structure. Yeah. So it's easier for you to look at. Um, so you see, a, oh. you know, when you go through, you can even play it and then you're like, oh, what, is, what was I having about market? Oh, the video graphing, social Look media, newsletter, fans, email collection. Um so you can actually use it also for presentations, I believe, you know, um, if you've got to go yeah, somewhere and if, if you want to go for a pitch with your business, whatever that is, you know, we can just sort of, you know, inside. The other thing you can do is there's a, there's a function which um, allows you to um, take your picture that you've got and download it as an outline. And if you're writing articles, that is something yeah. that you can, you can use. Yeah. Uh, to to because if you put down the ideas, I mean, obviously with the business one, it's perhaps you wouldn't you wouldn't want to do that. But as I, you know, as you see, I tend to concentrate on the sort of research side, and so I can, uh, if I wanted to, I could take that antioxidant one or the coffee one that I sent you before, and and just download it as an outline, and then just write yeah. my write my article for, on the basis of how I'd organize yeah. the X mind. Yeah, I think that's what you see. I I think that's what I was actually looking for. It's in the corner down here, which said outliner. I think this okay. is what. Yes, it is. that's right. Yeah, that's see. This is yeah. And if oh, you if you okay. you can even structure an article this way, you know. Yeah, or exactly. A story, yes. You know? And then um, yeah, yeah you super. Put pictures down, and then yeah, see how we can. This is uh the you uh, the way that you know for me the way that I could see that I would use the outliner is that that's my to do list. Mm -hmm. So if I structure my um, X Mind map in such a way that when I click on the outliner, then that's the the if, if until I complete that first thing on the list, I can't move forward. Mm -hmm. So it it would help to keep me focused on on the on the nugget on that nugget that I need to do 
That's mm, that's that, a very good idea yeah. because I, I I think one of the things that I do is just is I do hop from one thing to another mm-hmm. and they're all relevant, but it's, yeah. it's not really focused enough. I need to, I try to do that with my journaling thing that I do. Well, it's not really journaling, but um, I think of. you could even, I'm not quite sure if you, like, if you add, let's go, let's go to, um, let's go to Nepal, for example. So uh-huh. it's a touring, the groups and let's go for the ne- Nepal tour. Um, yeah. So it's two tours in a year, October and March and April. So now I could probably use this as what do I need to do? Um, yes. Yes. So really plunk this down here saying yeah. uh, that I need, uh, I need to yes, exactly. um, do social media. Then I had, then would have to link it to the social media here. So what am I going to, how am I going to promote this business? And mm-hmm. um, by when do I do actually need what? So yeah, I think for it's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then as you see here, you have the link button. So you just, you know, you can put links down, you connect mm-hmm. it or have useful links or I think even if you read something or you're on a website somewhere and think oh bloody hell that that looks really good that could be that could be helpful for my business so you just copy uh, the link and just put it down you know just put it oh, on here oh that's super yeah that's super. I, do I haven't that. done that I haven't I have not done that you guys are you uh, you guys are like have taken this to the next level for me I'm so glad that we did this thanks and um, I think so, also working yeah, with the pictures here, just to remind you of stuff, whether is this your own picture or something else, you know, just mm-hmm. like a placeholder. Um, if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, even for you braving midlife, you think, oh, I need a T-shirt, you know, but mm-hmm. or something, you know, mm-hmm. like an accessory that I'm going to promote. Just just on Canva, just do a little design and just plunk it in so that you you, you remember it um yeah and I think there's a lot of people who also like myself I have a journal I have this workbook and I have little post-it stickers and I think this gives us an opportunity to yeah to collect everything in one go and really structure it down to the bottom and then uh get the thing to get the thing up and running rather than yes. you know especially for us where we travel um i'll be traveling in 10 days so i need this i need this with me and i think this is a mm-hmm. great tool actually mm-hmm. it is yeah mm. I, I and then i like cool. and then i like this, this is what i discovered today there's a zen button up here oh i, I haven't tried that. that i haven't so the zen that. button is basically um it gives you a, sort of um minimalistic version of a paid version but um let's see if that works um, so the, you have obviously you can try this for free and it just you see you have less you have less to okay st- you have less things to do so it really just yes. lets you focus on one thing there's nothing else you can't play around with anything uh-huh. yeah. so this is I wanted to if I wanted to concentrate on Tanzania this is this is so this is less distraction than the previous um, um, display and I think if you go for the um, for the paid version maybe they have music and stuff or you know but uh-huh. just really everything is to focus to stay focused yeah yeah so for all of you uh, women out there that are looking to start a business grow a business write a book uh, move across <laughs> move to the next state to the next country um, this is a great way to organize your thoughts and what what needs mm-hmm. to happen in order for you to accomplish the goal, which is for Kirsten, as you can see here, is the main focus is bike and soul. So that's the that's the main focus. Now, underneath that bike and soul would be great as and I'm saying this for you as well as for me and for Rosemary is to then drill that down and write your mission statement and your vision um, or your 30 second, uh, 15 second. Now they say uh, elevator, elevator, pitch. Elevate, el- elevator pitch, uh, yeah. uh, pitch in, in there. So that bike and soul that um you again this is all about remaining focused so Mm. you know the world is spinning very fast right now there's lots of negativity out there um and uh, this can really drill down those thoughts and for kirsten this this took her an hour to do 
So, and, and it's not done. The X mind is, is something that's a work in progress because you're always coming up with new ideas or new ways of doing things. You have new information and uh, you can add whatever you need to in here to keep you focused. Now, (laughs) once you get this to this place, then it's the doing because an X mind is nothing unless you are actually in the uh, the the doing mode, right? We have we 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 have all these brilliant ideas, we get them down on paper, we create X mind and then we go, oh there, I you know, I, that's done. No, that is just the beginning. That's the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is actually taking the steps to then make this happen. And that is, organizing your thoughts what needs to be done first second third what are you willing to do each and every day to make this a reality because that's what it's all about you, 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 just as in a vision board a vision board can can work miracles but it's not going to work miracles it's just going to be pretty pictures on a board if you're not willing to step into the picture and actually do something, take a step, do something different, think in a different way, be a different person. It's all about who is the person. So for Kirsten, since we have her up on the screen right now, for Kirsten, it's who is bike and soul? And what does that mean for her? What Because Bike and soul doesn't get to become a reality until Kirsten becomes bike and soul, until she breathes it, feels it, is it. So what does what does Kirsten need to change about herself, need to do differently each and every day to make all of this happen? Because, as I always say, if a dream was given to you, You already have everything it takes to make it a reality. The only difference is the action steps. So I hope this helped everybody. Kirsten, Mm. if you can stop your share, I'll stop the recording so that this, um, so that I can get this sent out when we're done and then we can continue our discussions. Hang on for one second.